Hi everyone. Lo and behold, we have finally made 15 beadboards. And I want to show you, we made 15 different colors. We've got them posted on Etsy. And these will be made to order. So, what I mean by made to order is um, we don't want to make a whole bunch of these in case they don't sell. So, um, we're going to make them as they get ordered. And we only have a limited amount of each color. And I stated that on Etsy when I did that. So, here is your board. These are approximately 15 inches across the top. They are about, oops, let's see, they're about nine inches across in here and 14 inches across in your working space. These little logos here are ironed onto the fabric and these are glued to the fabric. They are brads, so they go right through. They will not move. You will not get beads under there. You will not have any problems with that. Um, the first 50 bead boards that are sold, I'll show you. You get a free gift with it. So your bead board comes like this, all right? And let me just open this. It comes in your plastic. It will come in a box. And the reason we're shipping them in a box is because we don't want them damaged in the mail. Okay, this is a really beautiful white velveteen. Now, the reason we made these boards, this is the main reason we made them this way, is, let me just show you for an example. When you're beading, so let's dump some beads out, give it a little shake, and your beads will all stand up nicely for you. Okay, let me come in a little closer for you. So you'll notice your beads will be standing up, these are my bead boards I've been using, um, and I love them. Now, when you're sewing or bead weaving, and you're picking up beads, and you're picking up more beads, and you're picking up more beads, okay, let me just, I can't see a thing because I don't have glasses on, but I'm just gonna pretend I'm picking up some beads, right? Let me just show you the reason we shape these boards this way, and the most important reason why we did that, is when you're going like this and you're sewing your thread always gets snagged on the corner so if these were square like this this my laptop here my thread gets stuck under there all the time we made these to prevent that from happening so like I'm just gonna sew through these crystals I put on if I can see which I can't see very good hell with it I can't see that I'm just going through the thread anyways when you pull your thread now your thread's not going to get stuck underneath your board it just slides right over onto your uh, beading area so I love that idea that is the reason we designed these boards this way okay wanted to make that clear you got a lot of beading area up here lots of room up here um, Again, just give your bead board a little shake and all your beads will stand up perfectly for you. That's why I love this fabric. And it's not a cheap fabric. This fabric is uh, $25 a meter. And I don't get a lot of bead boards out of a meter. So it's very expensive. Now, um, what I have wanted to show you is when you're using needles, try not to stick them in here, in your board. Stick them on the edge, right up here where the foam is. You can stick them all around the edge here as much as you want. So I'm going to move my beads around. As you can see, they're moving around all over on the board. Okay? They're not going to get stuck anywhere. They're not stuck here. Um, if they do, just use your little scoop and just give them a little, little gathering. I mean, you can't make these things absolutely perfect, no matter how hard you try. Okay, let me just get this off. Oops, my needle got stuck in there, in the foam. I pulled the thread out. All right, so let's, uh, we came up with this design simply because I'm sick and tired of my thread. See how nicely these just scoop right up beautifully, okay? I was tired of my thread always getting caught here and yanking it out of my hand 
or knocking the beads out and then my thread if I had a long thread it would simply tangle up like crazy all right so that's that's it all the beads are gone nothing's left over now the back of the board is done with uh, felt not felt yeah this is felt and it's glued on and on here we have a warning label because it's very 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 important that you follow these these uh, warning labels because let me get a close-up of, ouch! Ooh, needle jabbed me right in the chest. Um, let me go over these warnings and why I put these here. And number one is, do not smoke over top of this board. So if you're smoking and a hot ash falls on your velveteen, I'm warning you right now, you're going to have a brown or a black spot there and it might burn it. So try not to smoke over your board, okay? Uh, keep away from all heat sources, so keep it away from candles and heaters or any. Don't put it on top of a heater because it might catch fire. I'm not guaranteed this thing can catch fire. It's not fireproof. Um, keep drinks off and away from the board. So if you have a cup of coffee and you got it sitting on top of your board and you go to get up and knock it over, your bead board is destroyed with coffee. So uh, keep your coffee away from your bead board. So if your coffee does spill over, it's not going to fall over on top of the white part of your board. You don't want that to happen. And um, clean the board with a damp cloth. Now, I've cleaned my bead board many of times, and I like using just a Lysol wipe. Baby wipes you can use. You can just wipe it and let it dry. It's, you, it doesn't get saturated. Just don't use a soaking wet cloth, and don't try to wash it in your washing machine because you know what's going to happen there. It's going to fall apart. Huh? Now, as I was saying, they come in uh, 15 different colors. There's, like I said, a limited amount of colors for each. This is pink and black. I absolutely love this one. But with the first 50 boards, we are giving away a little gift. So in this one here, there's a mixture of check glass beads, package of that. You'll get five um, size 10 beading needles. These are pony needles. And you're gonna get a spool of white or black Nymo thread. So that's your free gift that will come inside your board with the first 50 boards that we sell. Now, we are going to ask everyone to be patient with us because it's just me and my husband, just the two of us, um, building these things by hand. And it takes us four hours to make one board. So bear with us when we say that we need one to two weeks to ship it means you might get it shipped in three days. It just depends if we have nothing else on our agenda and we can just sit there and make uh, a ton of boards. So like I said, um, I don't want to um, make a whole bunch of these just in case they don't sell. But they are gorgeous boards and they're selling for, I don't know if I'm going back or out. There we go. I don't know. Um, Etsy wouldn't allow me to change my currency because they know I live in Canada. So I had to put uh, $59 Canadian to get it to be around 45 to 47. It's just depending on the exchange rate. I have no control over that. So these are $45 roughly. 45 to 47 depending on the exchange rate uh, US. Now the shipping, I went and did some estimated shippings for every like Canada, the USA, uh, and some overseas countries, and some of the shipping was a bit ridiculous. But I charged a fair amount for shipping, and if by chance I ship your item, your bead board, and it's less than what I charged you, I will definitely refund you for your shipping if I overcharged you. And I, like I will show you proof of that uh, upon request. So, I hope you guys enjoy these. Go check out all the colors we have on Etsy. Uh, the link is below. And I guess I will see you guys soon on the very next video. And these are called Bead With Ease by JNR, which is me and my husband. Bead With Ease. And that's what we called them because you will bead with ease beading with these. Okay? So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.